It's uh, Friday, October the 9th, 2020. My favorite day of the week, dip by Friday. Uh, first of all, I am not giving anyone financial advice. I'm just telling you how I trade my stocks and what I look for and what I see. So the top two stocks on my watch list this morning is uh, SNMP, which is uh, up here already on the five-minute chart. That's added to the one-minute chart. Now, I don't buy stocks this cheap because they're dangerous normally. Yesterday, this thing closed to 37 cents. The highest it's been this morning so far is $1.42, which is tremendous, over 300% upside. Was it news on it? You look back here, you see, no news. That's why I didn't trade it. I rarely trade a stock with that big of a move with no news, regardless of what the price of it is. That's crazy. Next one is e, uh, sorry, VVPR, which had news this morning. You look here. You know, uh, right now, electric vehicles are booming. There go news on it right there this morning. Yesterday, closed 10.09. High this morning, 17.30. It's currently pulling back right now on the uh, five-minute chart. Because it's a small account, I'm not trading that stock in this account because I can't buy as many shares as I would like. If I bought freaking 30 shares and make a dollar, it's not worth my trade in my in my mind, how I look at things. So my current watch is the high leading gapper, which is SMMP. But my, my large account, I'm going to trade this uh, VBPR, and that's on my cell phone. But counting me in now, it's my small account. So I'm going to trade stocks I can afford to trade in my small account. Again, I'm going to buy probably 100 shares of what I buy, depending on the price of it. So we got 15 seconds to the market opens. I'm about to lock in right quick to my trade chart. Make sure my auto sand is checked. Check my, my share amount and watch what happens first one to watch this SNMP here we are this is a five minute chart look at the volume ca candle look at the RSI look at the MACD we need to find we need to see a green candle pop in there if it's green if it's green it's a buy right now it's red it's selling you look at the pullback here if it pops this we got a good buy point you look at the RSI indecisive MACD it's bright red they put bust to this point, green candle, we in. There we go. Now if it pops right here, this 138, I'm looking for a sell point of 142 or higher. Now this thing only gonna move like four or five cents, you know. That's that's a that's a large move, which is bad. But indecisive. Leading gapper, 230% up with I M R N W next on the list. <laughs> We'll watch it for a minute. We got buyers coming in, which is what I want. I want to watch it. It's holding steady so far. The VWAP is just tapping the VWAP right here. VWAP is 118. For the last hour, it's been selling. From this point here, which is 820 to right now, it's been sell mode. Let's go. We need, we need some buyers to pile in right here. It's up 230%. Now, my, my goal is to get, again, each stock I trade is 10%. So, in this case, I need about $0.13 cent for my 10%, which is one, 139 In this case, 142 the higher day. We bust that. I'm going to look for a sell point. We need one big buyer to run it over. Here come the buyers now. We got a 20000 <laughs> Share buyer right here, 126. But we got a million share buyer They're trying to trying to bring it down. We're gonna watch it. Sell, sellers, sorry. See the sellers over here? They're taking profits. Buyers coming coming in. Sellers piling in. Remember, yesterday was 39 cents, 37 cents. Here we go. We need one big buyer. I'm out. I'm gonna hover over this joint ass. Pop this 142. Come on now. We need a big buyer. Here come the buyers. There they go. Here they come. We got guys here selling at 150 right now, trying to pull the price up. Perfect. 10%. It's only $13, right? Or more. $26. Let's go. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Need some buyers to pile in. We need one buyer. It blow past this 138, we gone. Indecisive right now. It don't know what it want to do. There we go. Let me hop over here. I'm on my cell phone at the same time, you you guys. So I'm trying to watch both at the same time. Pop this 142 mark, we gone. Here we come. We hover over this. For this move right here. We need one big buyer, we gone. Here we go. Blow through it. There we go. It's about to halt. I think it, I think it hard on me. <laughs> it halted. Look, I put my sell order in right there, and it halted at the same exact time. Remember, if a if a <laughs> yeah, see how it's sitting there and ain't sell it, and see numbers just disappearing and not moving, it halted on volatility. See that? My order is sitting there. It's not going to complete itself. Wait. Yeah. It hard on volatility. Good and bad. So, you want it to halt sometimes on the candle up, which it did, which is perfect. But you see, you guys, I don't really like trading through halts. So, I put in my sell order and I saw it about to halt. Because sometimes it come out the halt, it'll jump for a minute, then take a dump on it. And when it dumps, it's going to dump bad. So I'm already up right now my uh, 10% exactly, actually. I bought in at $1.28. I bought 200 shares, right, which cost me uh, $2.56. So I made 26 bucks so far, which is technically up over 10%, which is what I wanted, 10%. Now, I'm going to put in the group right now that this thing is halted. You see here live on video. My sell order didn't complete itself. It's still sitting there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase that, that sell order, right? Uncheck my auto send and put a limit sell order in. So sell limit. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to go here to my limit sell price. 200 is checked. It matches that, right? So it comes out of halt usually. It blows through that first candle after halt. Then it pulls back. So I know, look at that. From this candle here, let me draw it, tell you how big the move was. Remember, 10% halts uh, a candle of the market price. So from 130 to 142, which is 9.59%, I must be a little off because I'm sure it's 10%. So I'm put my sale order in right now. Market order, sale. Limit 200, not auto send check for limit orders. I'm going to sell my stock at 153 because it's going to blow through that right right out the hall. See you sell orders here at 150, they're going to pull the price up by themselves. Now, again, I only want 10% and I'm not being greedy. Now, I don't trade, I normally don't trade these stocks that's real cheap like this because they're dangerous. These 37 cent stocks of these 50 cent stocks. I don't like trading these stocks. They're dangerous. While my order's sitting here, you see it there. Look back here at the, li at the last three year, one week mark. It's the highest it's been in three years. The lowest been 15 cent. Remember, this morning was no news. This thing ran this morning with no news, right? Which is telling me it's pump and dump. Now, right now, current price is 142. The bid, 143 on the ass. You got some sellers here 150. You got some buyers here 142. I was going to get out real fast and put it here at 153, which is, for this point, it's uh, not even 10% above the uh, the hot price. Now, if you're going to put limit order in for sale, if you put the limit order in for sale, make sure the auto send is not checked first. Put the limit order in for sale and then check it afterward. That way you can drag your price however you want to drag it up and down the axis, right? When you let it go, it's the spot you put it at. Make sense? Let me go back to my five-day, five-minute, why this halt is uh, going. 
we got a bull halt right there. It's going to pop past 150, no doubt about it. And it gonna, my spot can be perfect spot. So I'm at 10 cents higher than where it was when it halted. I'm okay with that. Because I'm tra trading it also in my large account through my cell phone. So I'm cool with that. Uh, VVPR. I'm trading also my cell phone. I'm in VVPR at 1650, I see. Sorry, 1690. And if current price is 1765, I'm going to hop out of it at uh, 1775 mark. That's what my sell order is going to be on my cell phone, on my VVPR. 1775. 1775. So I'm going to go on the group right quick while I'm doing this. And uh, show you, tell you guys about this, uh, this halt, 1765, 1769, come on, 1775, I need on this, uh, see over here, on the left, they go to halt, it came out of it, my point missed, but watch this, watch it come back, there we go, see what I just did there, I know it's going to halt, I came out of the halt, I put my sell order in 10% above the halt price, right? And then I've checked my auto send button, moved around a little bit, adjusted my sell price, hopped out 153. Now watch the pullback. See that pullback? Happens every single time. So there you go, my trade here. First five minute candle out the gate. I got in at 120, uh, 126, bought 200 shares, 110%, got 10%. Actually, I got 16%, 17% off my trade. I only, I paid three. Sorry, 260 bucks, made 48 bucks, well above my 10% price uh, range. Uh, that easy. Uh, with that being said, one trade away.